I now declare the 2017 commencement ceremony of Tunxis Community College open. Will everyone please be seated? Good evening. On behalf of the Board of Regents of the State Colleges and Universities of Connecticut, the Tunxis Community College Foundation and Advisory Board, the Tunxis Alumni Association, and faculty and staff of the college, I am honored to welcome our graduates and their families and friends to the 46th commencement ceremony of Tunxis Community College. Yes. Please, please, oh please, make sure your cell phones are turned off or set to vibrate. Pictures are okay, ringing is not. Thank you. And anybody who wishes to remove a hat may do so at this time. You don't have to. I want to let our audience in particular know that we are live streaming this event via our Facebook uh, connection on our homepage, and you can find it in the Tunxis Room affectionately known as the Cyber Cafe, or in rooms 6127 and 128 over in the 600 building. So if you care not to stand, for those of you who might be outside the tent and wish to go inside, you will have access to that via our live stream. Okay. I would like at this time to introduce our platform guests from the Board of Regents, Ms. Elise Wright, the deans of Tunxis Community College, Dr. Kirk Peters, Dean of Student Services, Mr. Charles Cleary, Dean of Administration and Human Resources, Dr. David England, Dean of Academic Affairs. Will you now please stand for the national anthem presented by Tunxis's own student, Joanna Robinson. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. You may be seated. Thank you, Joanne. Ms. Elise Wright will now bring greetings from the Board of Regents. Good evening. On behalf of my fellow members of the Board of Regents for Higher Education, I join President Addy to bring greetings and congratulations to each member of the class of 2017. We also give thanks to all the parents, the families, the friends, and others who have supported today's graduates. This is the third year that I've had the privilege of participating in the Tungsis commencements graduation. And I'm pleased to be with you to celebrate this wonderful occasion. This is a remarkable achievement and you all should be very proud of yourselves. 
I'd also like to extend a very special thanks to President Addy for her 24 years of service, dedication, and leadership. We're extremely grateful for everything she has done for Tunks' Community College, and she has made a lasting difference. So, get my paper. So, on behalf of the Board of Regents, I offer congratulations and best wishes for a wonderful retirement. And as for the graduates, today is a significant milestone and you should be incredibly proud of your accomplishments. We know the journey wasn't necessarily an easy one, but it was a good decision. It was a smart decision and it was the right decision. And your choice was challenging because there's no shortcut to earning an associate degree. But consistent with the Tuntis vision, Tunks has met your needs and you thrived in its vibrant educational and cultural environment. You may have been the first in your family to attend college. You may have gone to school in between working and or taking care of a family. Or there may have been other challenges you faced. Whatever the case, you persevered and it has paid off. Your education is good not only for you, it's good for your family, your friends, those students who follow behind you, and it's certainly good for the state of Connecticut. You make us look good because you will make a difference in whatever path you choose. So you've reached one goal here today when you earned your degree or your certificate, but the foundation of learning you received at Tunks' Community College has prepared you for the challenges you will face going forward and for whatever path you choose next. So on behalf of the entire Board of Regents, I hope that each of you will pursue your goals, your dreams, with the same perseverance and dedication that brought you to this wonderful day of success and um, celebration. And congratulations. Thank you. See, it took me 24 years to get through Tunxis. <laughs> I have the record. Mrs. Helen Lozada. <laughs> Mrs. Helen Lozada will now bring greetings from our Alumni Association. Good afternoon. I wore the hat last year and it came off and I was known for the next six months as Hatless Helen. So I gave up on the hat. Dr. Addy, Board of Regents, faculty, staff, Tunxis Foundation, friends, family, honored guests, class of 2017. My name is Helen Lozada, and I'm the president of the Tunxis Alumni Association, among other things. And I'd like to begin this evening by dropping a few names. You may have heard of some of them. Clint Eastwood, actor, director. George Lucas, producer, director, innovator. Nolan Ryan, Hall of Fame pitcher. Halle Berry, actress. Tom Hanks, actor, producer. Walt Disney, artist, producer, innovator. Ross Perot Sr., Businessman with a Forbes net worth currently of $3.7 billion, that's a B. Morgan Freeman, actor. Arnold Schwarzenegger, actor, politician, actor. <laughs> Billy Crystal, comedian, actor, writer, producer. Queen Latifah, singer, model, songwriter, actress. So, what do you have in common with all of these famous people? Just like you, they all started at a community college. This is a day to be proud, but it is only a beginning. A beginning of a future filled with promise and with possibility. It is our sincere hope for you, as you leave us, 
that your name will matter, that your work will inspire, and that your own worth will excel. Maybe not as high as $3.5 billion, but hopefully somewhere near there. So on behalf of the members of the Tunxis College, Community College Alumni Association, I welcome you as our newest alumni and wish for all your dreams to come true, that you find your path sooner or later, and be who you're supposed to be and what you are meant to be. Thank you. We now also have a very special guest who has just arrived, who we are proud to say is one of our favorite politicians here at Tunxis. It is my honor to introduce you, Senator Richard Blumenthal, who will bring greetings from the United States Senate. Thank you. Thank you. I am uh, really excited and grateful to be here today. I'm just literally about an hour ago off a plane from Washington, D.C., because I wanted to be here with you tonight. Thank you. And uh, you have just heard from Hatless Helen. I am Robeless Richard. And I apologize, I'm not wearing a robe or a gown. Uh, and I want to say uh, a word of gratitude, really. First, to all of your loved ones, your family, your friends, your spouses, your significant others, all of them really deserve a round of applause for getting you here and helping you. And you know they love you because they're out there in the rain when you're in here under a tent. So, thank you all. Uh, I really want to thank the faculty. Uh, they aren't thanked enough. Tunxis Community College is a great American success story because of the wonderful faculty who give their lives and their learning to students every day. Thank you so much for all you do for American education. And I want to say a particular thanks to Dr. Addy. I'm told, but I refuse to believe it, that this is her last commencement. And it will not be the same without her at commencements or every day at this school. Thank you to Dr. Addy for her great contribution. Now I go to a lot of commencements. Some of them Ivy League schools some of them four-year institutions <coughs> here in Connecticut. But I can tell you, as long as you don't repeat it, Tunxis is my favorite. <laughs> and the reason is, there is an energy here and a sense of hope and determination and perseverance. And I know how hard many of you work to get here, sleepless nights, doing jobs that required you to juggle time with children or family and spouses. And many of you will go on. Those names that were just read to you, I think, are only the tip of the iceberg of the great names and great accomplishments of men and women who attend our community colleges here in Connecticut and across the country. I want to say uh, a particular thanks to Tunxis in an area that may or may not be close to your hearts, but it is to mine, Tunxis has de done incredible work for our veterans. And I'd like all of the veterans who are here today to please stand so we can thank you for your service to our nation. Thank you.
in a time of challenges to our country, our veterans are the ones who enable us to stand here, say whatever we please, to study whatever you wish, worship as we all would like. They're the ones who help to preserve our freedoms, and Tunxis has welcomed them with a special measure of embrace and a hand out and a hand up. And so I want to thank Tunxis for setting that example, for leading by example. And finally, just uh, a word of advice, if you permit me one word. Uh, it's the old adage, this day is not refundable. <laughs> no day is refundable. Live it, enjoy it, have fun, take pleasure and pride in this day because you have earned it. Thank you so much for all you've done and all you will do for our great state and our wonderful nation. God bless you and God bless our great country. Thank you. At this time, I do have three special awards that I would like to uh, bring to your attention, and I would like to ask Professor Linda Nowitzki, Professor Terry Cassidy, and Student Services Specialist Maggie Carlin to join me at this podium. There is an academic tradition that when one retires from active duty, so to speak, a title of distinction is bestowed upon those outstanding members, and such, we have three of them right here, right now, on whom I am pleased to bestow the title of emeritus. First of all, Maggie Carlin. This is what her says. Um, her dedication to Tunxis students in a variety of roles, beginning with her part-time employment in the copy center, to her role as coordinator of student activities, to her role as academic advisor, to her adjunct teaching in the math and business departments. Maggie's talents and interests made her an invaluable resource to the Tunxis community and reinforced her campus-wide reputation as the person to go to when needing help with projects as diverse as helping with degree audits for students wanting to graduate, that would be all of you, um, to the dining for women at charitable events or participating in the creation of our new Tunxis pantry. She is a former Tunxis student herself who made lives better at Tunxis at all levels and whose generosity and good humor will be hard to match or replace. Congratulations, Maggie. <laughs> Professor Linda Nowitzki. Her many contributions to the development and, and expansion of the life sciences department from her initial employment as an instructor of biology in the year 2000 to her final role as a professor teaching primarily anatomy and physiology and microbiology. Over the course of her career at Tunxis, Professor Nowitzki helped to upgrade and modernize the curriculum, paying particular attention to the needs of students desiring to enter the dental hygiene program or other allied health programs where a solid grounding in subjects taught by Professor Nowitzki is of profound importance. Her ability to guide students honestly, to interact with her peers openly and respectfully, and her dedication to Tunxis are greatly appreciated. She was always a strong voice for doing what was right for students. Congratulations. Professor Terry Cassidy, distinguished service in the English and Academic Strategies Departments at Tunxis Community College, beginning his career in higher education at Tunxis as an adjunct in 2003. He was a leader in the development of the academic curricula responding to the changing, new, the changing needs of students entering college without the skills always needed to be successful. And he was a leader for the entire campus while serving as the pres president of the professional staff organization. His dedication to the mission of the community college was always foremost in his approach to teaching and in his participation in the activities of the Center for Teaching. Dr. Cassidy was recognized by his peers when he was selected to receive the Connecticut State College and University System Award for Excellence in Teaching. 
Dr. Cassidy has been an exemplary member of the Tunxis faculty, a fine teacher, an effective leader of his peers, and a respected member of the larger academic community. Dr. Cassidy. Thank you. We have a very special musical guest today, two musical guests. I would like to present to you violinist and artistic director of the Connecticut Virtuosi Chamber Orchestra, Adrienne Sylvine, and violinist and concert mistress of the Connecticut Virtuosi and director of the Virtuosi Music School, Bruna, Brunilda Mithrai, who will now perform a movement of the box concerto for two violins.
Dr. David England will now present the valedictorian and salutatorian of the class of 2017, Dr. England. Good evening. Melanie R. Gould Geddes of Plainville is the salutatorian for the class of 2017, graduating with a 4.0 GPA, which, by the way, is perfect. She will, she will receive an associate in science degree in graphic design. What started as a single, in a single photography class at the college has turned into a goal to become an art teacher. Go Geddes, who manages a wedding photography business and is the mom of two small children and the stepmom of a 19-year-old Tungsus student, already holds a bachelor's degree in fine art. But she began taking courses at Tungsus when she was bringing her two younger children to the Tungsus Early Child Care Center for preschool and had some free time. She continued taking graphic design courses and had soon gained the confidence to begin looking ahead to other careers that will free her up weekends for her family. She plans to go to Central Connecticut State University for a post-baccalaureate program that will certify her to teach art. Melanie? Good evening, President Addy, faculty and staff of Tungsis Community College, members of the Boards of Regents, members of the Tungsis Foundation, members of Tungsis Alumni Association, family members and friends, and fellow graduates. It's an honor to be here in front of the camera and to share my journey at Tungsis with you tonight. Vision, composition, and focus. The vision of my career began 12 years ago when I started my wedding photography business. At the time, my attention was focused on what was happening behind the camera, where I would envision my subject, compose the image, and focus the lens. Today, social apps like Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram have transformed digital photography into a social media event. Weddings are no longer a private affair shared by a select few family members and friends, but a moment captured on a smartphone and shared instantly around the world. Thousands can view the photo of a bride on Instagram before she even gets to the end of the aisle. I realized I needed to go get from out from behind my camera and change my vision. So I began putting the pieces together and composing my plan to continue my education. My youngest child was already enrolled in the Early Childhood Center program at Tungsis. The center was able to work with my class schedule and provide my son with an exceptional preschool experience. Now I had the opportunity to focus on my classes. My first course focused on studio lighting, which not only enhanced my skills as a photographer, but gave me the confidence to continue with my education. Now, with a plan in place, I wanted to see how far I could push myself. I needed to open my mind and expose myself to something new. A writing for business class sounded like the ideal way to step out from behind the camera and focus on developing my business. Fortunately, my professor made me feel confident in my writing skills since it had been nearly 20 years that I had taken a writing class. Thus, I decided to continue my education at Tungsis and pursue a degree in graphic design. The professors in the graphic design program were positive and constructive in their critiques with honest and helpful feedback. They brought their professional experiences and expertise into the classroom. The completion of each assignment opened my mind to new ideas and gave me time to build an added sense of success and a feeling of accomplishment. In closing, I am no longer content looking at the world from behind the camera, but I am confident to step in front and expose myself to new challenges to show my children that vision and a focus, their dreams, can be achieved. Thanks to my husband for his support and the faculty and staff at Tungsis Community College, I have the confidence and courage to continue my educational path and pursue a degree in art education. Thank you.
the valedictorian for the class of 2017, graduating with a 4.0 grade point average, is Hannah Buaza. Hannah is an international student from Morocco, currently residing in New Britain. While juggling being a mother and transitioning to a new country, in two and a half years, she has completed an associate's degree in business administration, a certificate in accounting, and a certificate in finance. After having completed her master's degree in communication in Morocco, and over 10 years of experience as a customer service manager, Hannah decided to return to college to pursue her passion for business, and even more importantly, to make her daughter Sarah proud. While at Tungsus, Hannah was a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. She worked in the admissions office, helping new students apply to college. She also volunteered as a tax preparer, helping people navigate the world of W-2s and more. In both positions, she greeted everyone with a welcoming smile, friendly greeting, and positive energy. In the fall, she will be starting at Trinity College, working on her Bachelor of Science in Economics, and hopes to one day open her own business. Please, please join me in welcoming Hannah Buaza. Good evening, President Addy, faculty and staff of Texas Community College, members of, members of the Board of Regents, members of the Texas Foundation, members of the of Texas Alumni Association, family members and friends, fellow graduates. Before I get started, I would like to take a moment to thank you all for giving me this opportunity to speak in front of you on this special occasion and to celebrate a great achievement. I would like to thank my mother who traveled from across the Atlantic Ocean to see me graduate, my father and brother for their continuous support, and my daughter who reminds me every day through her innocence that nothing is impossible. A big thank you to all of the professors for generously sharing your knowledge, time, and energy with us. We will always be grateful for you. And a very special thank you to the admissions team for treating me like family, which made this school feel like home. If someone told me four years ago that in 2017 I will be graduating with an associate's degree from an American community college, and transferring to Trinity College, one of the best schools in the country, I would have thought they were insane. Four years ago, I had a settled life in Morocco, my home country. I had a house, a new car, and what I thought was a promising career in management. But as most things in life, it didn't last. And just like many of you have experienced major life transitions, I experienced my own. I went through a painful divorce and chose to see my newly gained freedom as an opportunity to start over. So I sold every asset I had, emptied my savings account, and with my daughter, we started this biggest adventure of our lives, this educational journey in the United States. Fellow graduates, I want you to know what a great gift it is to be as prepared as we are, because higher education does not always offer such an advantage. In Morocco, academic advising is minimal, and the main goal of education is getting a job to make a living. Here in the United States, we are blessed to have the opportunity to explore our interests, follow our patients, and at, if at some point of our lives we fall out of love with what we are doing, we can always start over. At Tanksas Community College, we have received a great education thanks to our fine administration and professors. We have spent the past years wandering the halls of this great school. We have learned, laughed, loved, gotten into trouble, and most of all, grew as individuals. And now we are ready to go on. We are prepared to take on whatever challenges come next in our lives. And whether you intend to continue your education or not, I am sure we will all benefit from what we learned here. This educational journey is completely changing my life. I am looking into all the, the opportunities that my studies at Tungsus opened up and I feel deeply grateful. This change is impacting my daughter as well. She is eight years old and she looks up at me. 
I want to set a good example for her, and I want her to see through me that it is never too late to fulfill one's dreams, and that good things happen to those who are honest, persistent, and hardworking. Having begun my journey in Morocco, my path to Tunxis might be seen as being unique. However, in many ways, my story is also very similar. The story of the average Tunxis student is so diverse that it is nothing but average. We all came here to achieve a goal, and today is our day. The hard work, the sacrifices, the late nights, and the caffeine-filled days have paid off. As much as I enjoy standing here, this speech has to come to an end. I, will leave, I want to leave you with a quote from Olympian Christian Armstrong. Um, a quote, sorry. <laughs> Times of transition are strenuous, but I love them. They are an opportunity to purge, rethink priorities, and be intentional about new habits. We can make our new, journey, our new normal any way we want. Thank you all, and congratulations to Tungtas Community College graduates. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Melanie and Hannah. One more student I would like you to meet, if you haven't already, is Mr. Andrew Albert, who is the president of the Student Government Association in Tungtas, who will also present the class gift. Join the student government, they said. It'll be great. <laughs> I have had the pleasure of serving as the student government president here at Tungsis for the past two years now. And to be honest, I do not believe I truly understood what I was walking into or what path the SJJ would take me on when I took that office. As with anything else, however, the common that's life phrase rings an all too familiar bell. By this I mean that in life we never know, really, for sure, what we are signing up for or where our decisions will take us. Now up until recently I had quite a hard time coping with that, so much so that I had almost pushed out a very important person from my life. I guess that sort of thing can happen when you have self-diagnosed yourself with OCD and you have this idea that it all has to be figured out yesterday. Trust me, look at my desk in the office and you will agree with the diagnosis. <laughs> Thank you. That being said, it is now important to recognize how the Tungsis SGA has impacted my college experience. And yes, those do exist at the community college level. I hope many of you have also been impacted by the student government here at Tungsis. The Tungsis SGA, just like anything else, may be very unpredictable at times but it is certainly always equally as rewarding. Just ask Christopher Laporte, he has not left yet. So the Tungsis SGA is rewarding, and that is great. But what exactly does that mean? How about a food pantry which has brought students, faculty, and staff together in unpredictable ways and has started to address food insecurity here on campus? $2,500 a year in student bus pass funding, which allows so many students to say yes to college. And of course, what I think and have heard is the number one veterans oasis in the area. Now these are only a few examples of the great accomplishments the Tuxens SGA has had, but in the end, that's what SGA is to me. It's rewarding on both an individual and a community level because it is truly making a difference here on the campus. In the end, it has to be something more than just going to and from the classroom. Our own website summarizes it quite nicely. Student clubs and organizations exist to further the ideas and spirit of the college. They are designed to attend to particular student interests and present opportunities for individual growth and development. If I had to choose the most important word from that, I would say, spirit. SGA creates and furthers student spirit, and this SGA has done that, and in the process has been able to support students from a variety of backgrounds. Now, of course, this is not a one-man show. 
the clubs within SGA and all of their officers and members, the SGA Vice President Nick Teeling, Secretary Nicole Lipkin, and Treasurer Mike Farnan have all played key roles and deserve recognition because without all of you there, there would not have been a successful SGA or a sense of student spirit. I guess we should start talking about the class gifts. <laughs> this year, the class of 2017 and the student government within it have decided to break the class gift into two sections. First, we will be donating $2,500 towards an initiative with a technical college in Paris. The French embassy has granted a grant for four students to take an exchange trip to Paris in order to study and work on an internship. And we will be providing funding in the amount of $2,500 for that. We will also be spending up to $2,500 in order to construct a mural here on campus closer to home. We would like to include student messages from the graduating class, which we hope to collect at the end of the ceremony. Of course, I must close with a thank you. First, thank you to my mom and dad. We don't always have an extremely close relationship, and oftentimes I am just running in and out of the door without mention of what is going on with all those life decisions I'm making. Please know that you have never strayed in teaching me why this degree was so important. You never strayed from raising me the right way, and you have never strayed in supporting me. Now I can say I am the first in my immediate family to receive a degree, and it is truly first and foremost a result of you too. And of course, I love you. <laughs> Secondly, to Bill and Lisa, friends, mentors, and in so many ways, family, for teaching me so much. You two have helped me tremendously, and I cannot thank you enough for all that you do for me. And finally, Dr. Addy, Chris Laporte, Dr. Marie Klukas, and Sandy Vitali and of course, all of the other Tungsis faculty and staff. Without all of you, I would not have been able to be so successful with the SGA or obtaining my degree. Congratulations to the Tungsis class of 2017, and I truly mean it when I say thank you and good luck to you all wherever your decisions take you. At this time, I'd like to ask you all to stand and join me in a standing ovation for Dr. Katherine Addy. This is her 23rd and final Tungsis commencement, and she deserves a round of applause. Thank you. You may sit down, please. <laughs> well, it really is an honor to stand here where I've stood so many times. In spite of the fact that I've been an administrator for so many years, I want, it, I want you all to understand that I still consider myself a teacher and feel that all of us, especially me, have learned more from our students than we could ever impart. I still remember going back to my early days as a teacher of English, um, remembering a lot of individuals who stand out. One of my students was a young woman who went to college secretly because her husband disapproved. And when he found out, he dismantled her car so that she couldn't go. Instead, she left him and went to school and became a math teacher. Yes. I remember one of the first veterans that I had in class. He had just returned from Vietnam. He was bitter, confused, cynical, trying desperately to find his way back to a meaningful life. I also had a young student from India who barely spoke English, so we struggled through English composition together because I wasn't sure I had the skills to help him, but we made it. One of the first classes I ever taught at a community college was in the evening, and the students were all older than I was. I felt more like their mascot than their teacher. <laughs> and then there were the students that I taught here in Connecticut down at the youth prison in Manson. One of those students I will never forget from our area right here at Tunxis, 
He now has two master's degrees and is working for a very prestigious broadcasting company in New York City. It is always the students who teach us, and you sitting here tonight are obviously no exception. Each of you has brought a unique gift of yourself to Tunxis, and we thank you for being here. In another respect, graduates, you and I are in a similar spot. We have reached one milestone and are still busy trying to figure out exactly what is next for us because we know whatever it is, it will be quite different from what we have grown used to here at Tunxis. Add that to a questioning and often overwhelming amount of uncertainty in the world as a whole, and we have a recipe either for paralysis or for bold action. I hope for all of us it is the latter. Yes. Thomas Friedman is a columnist for the New York Times who has also written some well-known books about our culture and the world in general. I find that he's able to explain things in a way that few can match or can challenge. And one of his more recent columns was called The Theory of Everything, sort of. Um, it was a synopsis of why the world might be in such turmoil right now. An economic meltdown, the disappearance of the middle class, the IT revolution making this instant transmission of events possible on a major scale, and these are some of the reasons he gives for our current state of social unrest from London to Egypt to Israel to Syria to wherever. <coughs> what then about the United States, I ask? Why are our streets not burning all the time? True, there are epic-sized political battles that we are raging, there are reports of relatively slow growth in the economy, which means times will continue to be difficult for millions of us. Yet, most of us are still choosing to argue our cases in courts or in public forums. We are listening, at least with one ear, to the latest political chatter. We are still consuming, and we are still hoping for a better tomorrow because one has always been right around the corner. Yes, we have more poverty than we should, we have more homelessness than we should, more hunger than is conscionable, more violence in our neighborhoods than we want or deserve. There are many social issues that divide us right now, and we live with the constant threat of violence perpetrated by random individuals or groups who, for whatever reason, are disgruntled with American values or actions. But in spite of that, Americans have always had a hope and have always dreamed about a brighter day. We have seen the best emerge from rubble in horrific natural disasters. People helping others they don't know. People donating millions of dollars to help those they don't know. People who have been helped saying thank you with heartbreaking gratitude. So what is it that makes America different from other countries in perpetual turmoil and at war with each other or trying to create war with others? It just might be possible to look at our society as one that, above all others, has benefited from our commitment to the idea that every one of us, rich or poor, brilliant or average, male or female, has the right to become educated so that we have the skills and abilities to pursue our dreams and utilize our talents. No other country in the world has an extensive system of public education, particularly post-secondary education, Every child, regardless of gender or income level or ethnicity, goes to school, and every high school graduate has the option of going to college. Where else is that true in the world? Other scholars in newly developing countries come to America to study our system of education and then go back home to try to replicate it to help their citizens. It is no accident that American universities have been invited to establish branch campuses in other countries. It is no accident that international students have flocked to this country to acquire an education unattainable in their own land. And it is no accident that community college type institutions are starting to appear around the globe. It just may be that the promise of the future in America is based on the belief that everyone has a right to an education. There is considerable proof that a person who can read and write and solve problems is a person who not only can become skilled in a profession, but also who can live a richer, fuller life. This certainly has been true in my life, and I will trust it will also be true for you. As an adult, I have had the opportunity to live in interesting places from upstate New York to Arizona to Wyoming to New England 
to here in Connecticut with a few more stops in between. I have traveled to Europe, including Poland and through Germany. In fact, I think a part of my camera case is still lying next to a railroad track in what used to be East Germany, outside of Berlin. I have met quite a few famous people, and in fulfillment of a dream of mine, I got to perform twice at Carnegie Hall, as well as often at the Academy of Music in Philadelphia. Yeah. I have written a book and countless newspaper and magazine articles and have scribbled more than a little poetry that will never see the light of day. <laughs> all in all, life has been good to me and I have absolutely no explanation for why that is. A Buddhist might say that my reincarnations have been many and I have worked my way up a ladder. A Puritan, a New England style, might say that for whatever reason I have been chosen by God to be saved. An agnostic might say it is luck. A pessimist might believe that my luck is about to run out and payback is going to be monumental. <laughs> a fatalist would know that no matter what decisions I think I am making, my life's path has already been decided somewhere else by some other force, and I don't know what to believe. Nor am I sure that it really matters except to figure out how to be comfortable with my good fortune when there is misery and desperation in abundance in many people's lives. I do believe that most of the time, though, we do make our own luck by taking what we have, doing our best with it. Every choice we have in life leads us to our next set of choices, to our decisions about how we live our lives, and therefore to the consequences. It would probably be fair to guess I have already lived about two-thirds of my life, although my dad is 102, and I plan to match that year for year. So my opportunities to find out about my good fortune are diminishing. At Berkshire Community College in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, the college where I worked before coming to Tunxus, there was a quotation on one of the buildings by Robert Louis Stevenson that said, to travel hopefully is better than to arrive. I used to think that was absolutely absurd, but as I reflect on it from my present circumstance, it is beginning to make sense as the only option to live life with hope, do the best you can with what talents you are given, and try to enjoy the journey because it may be better than the destination. So I have a top 10 list of things I have learned along the way that I wish to share with you, class of 2017, hoping you'll find that you already know these things. I'm confirming what you already believe or hoping you are at least open to listening to what an older, <clears throat> more mature person can share with you. These are in addition to a favorite quote of mine from a t-shirt I have that says, life is too short to wear tight shoes. Okay, yeah. Okay, here's my top 10 list. Thank you, David Letterman. Number one, the future is not predictable. Number two, you won't always get your own way. Three, often you will get where you are going in spite of your best efforts, not because of them. Four, being prepared equals having choices. Five, preparation plus experience equals opportunity. Six, a job or a career isn't always fulfilling or fun. Seven, money ultimately is not a very strong motivator. Eight, reading, writing, and listening are the most important skills you will use. Nine, it is important to pay attention to your mistakes and learn from them. And finally, number 10, the journey is as important as the destination. My best wishes to each of you and congratulations on your achievements so far. Thank you. Will the candidates for degrees and certificates please rise? The faculty has reviewed the qualifications of the individuals assembled here and has authorized me to certify that they have all met the requirements associated with degree and certificate programs of our college. By the powers vested in me and on behalf of the Board of Regents for Connecticut Colleges and Universities and by the authority granted to the Board of Regents by the statutes of the State of Connecticut, 
Well, I forgot what the rest of it says. I, <laughs> I want to say I now pronounce you man and wife, but that's not it. <laughs> I now certify that you are graduates of Tunxis Community College. You may move your tassel to the other side. You may be seated once again. I would request of our guests that we keep the aisles clear during this time. Photo opportunities for families will be available on the stage after the ceremony, but during the presentation, photographs will be taken by a professional photographer, so candidates, make sure you do not run across the stage in your excitement. <laughs> we would like the first row of recipients to come to the platform. Dr. David England will introduce the department and program chairs who will present the graduates. Professor Amy Fist, Program Coordinator for Business Administration, and Professor Mark Mileski will announce the graduates for Business Administration degrees and certificates, including accounting and finance options. And I want to mention one thing. This night is about the graduates, but it's a great source of pride for everybody here at Tunxis that Professor Fest was named this year the outstanding faculty member for the entire community college system. Dorina Atkins, Associates in Business Administration with Honors, Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction. <laughs> Ashley Berline. Associates in Business Administration with Honors, Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction, Certificate in Marketing Management with Distinction. <laughs> Hannah Bozwa, Associate in Business Administration with Highest Honors, Certificate in Accounting, Certificate in Finance with Distinction. Deborah Calderon, Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration. Alicia, Alicia Collard. Business Administration with Honors and Finance Certificate with distinction. With distinction. Yeah. Isabella Dowid Dowid I knew I told you I'd get it wrong. <laughs> Dowidzik, Associates in Business Administration. Amber Elvatsky, Associates in General Studies with a Certificate in Accounting. Lorenz Fernandez, Associates in Business Administration. Maribel Ferreira, Associates in Business Administration. <laughs> Justin Karwowski, Associates in General Studies, Certificate in Business Administration. <laughs> Jane Krasinski, Associates in Business Administration with High Honors, Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction. Norbert Kulig, Associates in Business Administration with Honors, Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction. 
Kim Lancy, Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction. Nicole Lipkin, Associates in Business Administration with Highest Honors, Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction. <laughs> Candida Lopez, Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration. <laughs> Ashley Marquis, Certificate in Business Administration. Allison Martin, Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration. Devin Martin, Associates in Business Administration, Highest Honors, Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction. Kemche Mikalik. Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction. <laughs> Zuzana Michalowski, Associates in Business Administration, High Honors, Certificate in Accounting with Distinction. <laughs> Jordan Nicholas. Associates in Business Administration and Certificate in Business Administration. Christina Petrif, Certificate in Accounting. Antonino Ragnolo, Associates in Business Administration with Honors and Certificate in Business Administration. Daniel Rock, Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration. <laughs> Anis Saint-Just, Associates in Business Administration and Certificate in Business Administration. <laughs> Jonathan Santo Pietro, Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration. Kristen Sosha, Associates in Business Administration with Honors, Certificate in Business Administration. Alexandria Spring, Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration. Angela Upham, Associates in Business Administration. Brooke Usher, Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration. <laughs> Edit Waterman, Associates in Business Administration, Highest Honors, Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction. <laughs> David Verpachowski, Associates in Business Administration with Honors and Certificate in Business Administration with Distinction. Editha Vnuk, Associates in Business Administration, Accounting Option, Highest Honors. <laughs> Stephanie Wright, Associates in Business Administration, Certificate in Business Administration, Certificate in Finance. Professor Candy Carbone, Department Chair for Business and Technology, will announce the graduates for business office technology degrees, including the medical option, as well as certificates in health information technology and office applications. Johanny Gonzalez, Associates in Business Office Technology and Certificate in Office Applications. Mary Groughton, Associate in Business Office Technology Medical Option, Certificates in Medical Transcription and Office Applications. Congrats. 
Lisa holds an associate in business office technology medical option certificate in health information technology. High honors with distinction. Into Joyner, Associate in Business Office Technology Medical Option. Kimberly Layden, Certificate in Health Information Technology with Distinction. Jody Plantamaro, Associate in Business Office Technology Medical Option with Honors, Associate in General Studies with Honors, and Certificate in Health Information Technology with Distinction. Reshma Sathasan, Associate in Business Office Technology Medical Option, Certificates in Health Information Technology with Distinction. <laughs> Lucy Screen, Associate in Business Office Technology Medical Option, Certificate in Health Information Technologies, and Certificate in Office Applications with Distinction and Honors. Jacqueline Ciaran, a Business Office Technology Medical Option, Certificate in Health Information Technology. <laughs> Heather Smith, a Smith, Associate in Business Office Technology Medical Option. <laughs> Marissa Tabor, Certificate in Office Applications. <laughs> Wanda Vasquez Enriquez. Associate in Business Office Technology, Medical Options, Certificate in Health Information Technology. Congratulations, BOT. Professor Mahindra Shaw, Program Coordinator for Computer Information Systems, will announce the graduates for Computer Information Systems, Network Administration, and Computer Programming. Ryan Brockley, Com Associate Computer Information Systems, Network Administration Option, and Certificate in Network Administration. <laughs> Michael DiLorenzo, Associate in Computer Information System, Network Administration, and Certificate in Network Administration. Hassan L. Kreitelia, Associate in Honors Program Computer, Science, Mathematics. <laughs> Derek Gibert, Associate in Computer Information System, Network Administration Option, and Certificate in Network Administration. John Klein, Associate in Computer Information System, Network Option, and Certificate in Network Administration with distinction. <laughs> Angelica Stelsova, Associate in Computer Information System in with Programming Option and Certificate in Computer Programming. Professor Jessica Waterhouse, Program Coordinator for Computer and Program Coordinator for Criminal Justice, will announce the graduates for the Criminal Justice Program. Krista Atkinson, Associates in Criminal Justice. Michael Kabuda. Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Kelly Carangelo, Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Antoine Charest, Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Elisa Sabelli, Associates in Criminal Justice, Honors. Sean Crowley, Associates in Criminal Justice. 
Philip Crozier, Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Kayla Sear, Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Cody Dunkowski, Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Alexander Duzgas, Associates in Criminal Justice. Michael Flynn, Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Jeanette Gonzalez, Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Holtz, Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Matthew Lavoie, Associates in Criminal Justice. Cody McQuarrie, Associates in Criminal Justice. Michael Petrowitz, Associates in Criminal Justice. Yasmin Reyes, Associates in Criminal Justice. Janelle Ricketts, Associates in Criminal Justice. Genesis Rivera's Associates in Criminal Justice Honors. <laughs> Renee Rivera, Associates in Criminal Justice, Associates in General Studies. <laughs> Alessa Robichard, Associates in Criminal Justice. Kenneth Timmons, Associates in Criminal Justice and General Studies. <laughs> Andrew Tumpantas, Associates in Criminal Justice. <laughs> and Paulina Winkler, Associates in Criminal Justice. Professor Aaron Anacharico, Program Coordinator for Dental Assisting, will announce the recipients of a certificate in dental assisting. Ann Alexandra, Certificate in Dental Assisting. Ashley Ardry, Certificate in Dental Assisting. Alexandra Boris, Certificate in Dental Assisting. Courtney Cloutier, Associate in General Studies, Certificate in Dental Assisting, and Certificate in Health Career Pathways. Marina Connors, Certificate in Dental Assisting and Associate in General Studies. <laughs> Caitlin Darienzo, Certificate in Dental Assisting. <laughs> Tiara James, Certificate in Dental Assisting with Distinction. Mary-Kate Martin, Certificate in Dental Assisting with Distinction. <laughs> Emilio Martinez, Certificate in Dental Assisting. <laughs> Sherry Mendez, Certificate in Dental Assisting with Distinction. Neshley Ojeda Gonzalez, Certificate in Dental Assisting with Distinction. Emily Petroza, Certificate in Dental Assisting. 
Ashley Riach, Certificate in Dental Assisting with Distinction. And Lauren Rollo, Certificate in Dental Assisting with Distinction. Professor Diana Himmel, Department Chair for Allied Hill. We'll announce the graduates with a degree in dental hygiene. Marvis Anthony Marquis, Associate in Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Jessica Brogan, Associate in Dental Hygiene. Kirsten Gady, Associate in Dental Hygiene. Marissa Gothier, Associate in Dental Hygiene with Honors. Alyssa Haydu, Associate in Dental Hygiene with Honors. Carrie Lavery, Associate in Dental Hygiene, High Honors. Jillian Liebtrot, Associate in Dental Hygiene, Honors. Michaela Lugenbuehl, Associate in Dental Hygiene, Honors. Lydia MacArthur, Associate in Dental Hygiene. Stacy Mazoulis, Associate in Dental Hygiene, Honors. <laughs> Megan MacArthur, M McNamara, I'm sorry. <laughs> Associate in Dental Hygiene, Honors. <laughs> Amy Porto, Associate in Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Ahmed Ramich. Associate in Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Kaylin Rogers, Associate in Dental Hygiene, Honors. <laughs> Marilyn Salas, Associate in Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Paige Sobel, Associate in Dental Hygiene. Jessica Veloso, Associate in Dental Hygiene. Nicole Vieira, Associate in Dental Hygiene. Lee Singh, Associate in Dental Hygiene. George Zacharidis, Associate in Dental Hygiene with honors. Diana Juta, Associate in Dental Hygiene. I was told to slow down. <laughs> Joyce Voisine, Program Coordinator for the Early Childhood Education. We'll announce the graduates in that program. Monica Aldag, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education with High Honors, Certificate of Early Childhood Education with Distinction. Christy Bolduck, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education with Honors, Certificate in Early Childhood Education with Distinction. Yeah. Kaylee 
Bonini, so Certificate in Early Childhood Education with Distinction. Jamie Chacho, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education with Honors. Jessica, Jessica Colonese, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education, Certificate in Early Childhood Education. Patty Goldberg, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education with Honors, Certificate in Early Childhood Education with Distinction. Amanda Granger, Associate Degree in Early Childhood, Certificate in Early Childhood Education. Lindsay Novak, Certificate in Early Childhood Education. Emily Perkins, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education with Honors, Certificate in Early Childhood Education with Distinction. <laughs> Zimara Ramos Moquette, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education with Honors, Certificate in Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Cynthia Robles, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education with Honors. Lisa Schaefer, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education. Margaret Skelly, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education, Certificate in Early Childhood Education. Victoria Stavidlo, Associate Degree in General Studies, Certificate in Early Childhood Education. Kamisha Wallen, Associate Degree in Early Childhood Education, Certificate in Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Professor Susan Gentry, Pathways to Teaching Program Coordinator, will announce the graduates in that program. Alejandro Bermudez, Associates in Pathway to Teaching Careers. <laughs> Alana Levesque, Associate in to Pathway to Teaching Careers. <laughs> Clarissa Marino, Associates degree Pathway to Teaching Careers. Kiyomare Rosa, Associates, Pathway to Teaching Careers. Uh, Brett Shaw, Associate, Pathway to Teaching Careers. Allison Soroy, Pathway to Teaching Careers. Erica Warren, Associates in Pathway to Teaching Careers. <laughs> Professor Greg Sapansky, Program Coordinator for Engineering and Technology, will announce the graduates for our Engineering and Technology Studies programs and recipients of the Computer Aided Drafting Certificate. Jonathan Densky, Associates in Engineering Science. Sean Dupont, Associates in General Studies, Associates in Technology Studies, and a CAD certificate. Raymond Hamilton, 
the computer-aided drafting certificate. Mohammed Kali, Associates in Electronics and Technology Studies, Electrical Option. Dennis Reinflesch, Associates in Technology Studies, Electrical Option. Rafael Sanchez, Associates in Engineering Science. Sylvia Tansky, Associates in Engineering Science with highest honors and the CAD certificate. Professor Sally Terrell and Professor Rafael Fierro, Program Coordinator for General Studies, will announce the names of our graduates of the General Studies Program. Tyler Acey, Associates in General Study with High Honors. Oh, sorry, I keep it. Marie Badillo, Associates Degree in General Studies. Karen Baldus, Associates Degree in General Studies with Honors. Daniel Bam, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Matthew Becker, Associate's Degree in General Studies with high honors. Stephanie Caldera, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Cassandra Carr, Associate's Degree in General Studies. <laughs> Victor Candeas, Associate's Degree in General Studies with Honors. Seth Chuk, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Daniel Corcoran, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Andrew Cormier, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Stephanie DeVoe, Associate's Degree in General Studies. <laughs> Erica Dorsey, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Javon Ferrara, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Nicole Gagne, Associate's Degree in General Studies with Honors. Amelia Gowick, Associate's Degree in General Studies with High Honors. Patricia Golka, Associate's Degree in General Studies with Honors. Stephanie Griffin, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Andrew Hermanse, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Syed Hussein, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Adriana Jordan, Associate's Degree in General Studies with Honors. <laughs> Haley Kopchek, Associate's Degree in General Studies. 
Natasha Lang, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Monica Lieberda, Associate's Degree in General Studies with Highest Honors. Javon Lopez, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Anthony Lazewski, Associate's Degree in General Studies. Tyler Majek, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Anthony Mason, Second, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Uh, Chiara Morales, Associate's Degree, General Studies, High Honors. Dylan O'Keefe, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Joseph Parafati, Associate's Degree, General Studies, with honors. Christina Patillo, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Tyler Philpot, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Zachary Plum, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Amy Powers, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Elise Raymond, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Bethany Robinson, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Maxwell Ruccanello, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Gilbert Roy, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Takwa Sanan, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Jacqueline Tolpin, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Justin Valdez, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Samantha Way Crooks, Associate's Degree, General Studies, with honors. Hello. Doral Wallace, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Associate's uh, Kayla Wedman, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Hold on. Jarrell Womack, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Congrats. Jennifer Zabara, Associate's Degree, General Studies. Professor Carrie Ann Garside, Department Chair for the Art Department, will announce the graduates of the Graphic Design Program. Shanice Backus, Associate's Degree in Graphic Design. Champon Boon Kuhn, Associate's Degree in Graphic Design.
Paul Durrell, Associate's Degree in Graphic Design, Honors. Melanie Gould Geddes, Associate's Degree in Graphic Design, Salutorian. Ryan Michael Lee Murphy, Associate's Degree in Graphic Design, Interactive Media Option. Chalita Pakabuter, Associate's Degree in Graphic Design, Certificate in Graphic Design. Sabine Shresa, Associate's Degree in Graphic Design. Professor Colleen Richard, Program Coordinator of Human Services, will announce the graduates receiving human services degrees and certificates, as well as for the family violence intervention option. Oh, here we are. Autumn Baker. Lisa Labar. Degree in Human Services, Family Violence Intervention, Certificate in Human Services. Amber Lewis, Degree in Human Services, Certificate in Human Services with Distinction. Carissa McPhailin, Degree in Human Services, Certificate in Human Services, with honors. <laughs> Ashley Pinero, degree in human services. <laughs> Erica Rusick, certificate in human services. <laughs> Professor George Sebastian Coleman, program coordinator for the liberal arts and sciences, will announce the graduates of the Liberal Arts and Sciences program. Tia Brown, Associate in Science, Liberal Arts and Science. Andrew Arthur Albert, Little Arts and Science, with honors. <laughs> Herbert Brown, Associate in Science, Liberal Arts and Science, with honors. <laughs> Jocelyn Conchanea, Associate in Science, Liberal Arts and Science. Angela Canova, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science, high honors. <laughs> Nicholas Capoldi, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science. Andrew Chase, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science. Chelsea Damboise, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science. <laughs> Melissa Zirlotka, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science, High Honors. Daniel Fapiano, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science.
Steven Feinberg, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Sciences. Ruth Gardner, Associate of Science, General Studies, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Sciences. Aaron Jones, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Sciences. Daniel Morocho, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science, High Honors. Kelly Murphy, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science. Lauren Pittman, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science, with honors. Nicholas Teeling, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts and Science, with honors. Professor Jackie Decker, Program Coordinator for Art and Photography, will announce the Visual Fine Arts graduates including the photography option. Bert Cassell, associate's degree, visual fine arts, photography option with honors, photography certificate with distinction. Samantha Gauthier, associate's degree, visual fine arts, photography option. Sarah Grzynski, Associate's Degree, Visual Fine Arts, Photography Option. <laughs> Rebecca Kirsch, Associate's Degree, Visual Fine Arts, Highest Honors. <laughs> Philip Pasco, Associate's Degree, Visual Fine Arts, Highest Honors. Elizabeth Toth, Associate's Degree, Visual Fine Arts, Photography Option. Tanner Walsh, Associate's Degree, Visual Fine Arts, Photography Option. Graduates of the class of 2017, you have your work cut out for you. Our expectations are high. The challenges of our society are great. I would like for our faculty and staff to stand and be recognized by you one more time and by me. Thank you. They are the best you will find anywhere. And to all parents, spouses, children, we thank you as well for your support and your presence tonight at this celebration. So I think we're done here. There is a reception in the Farmington Room to which everyone is invited, but we would appreciate the audience waiting for the procession to clear before leaving your seats. And now, will everyone please rise? This is a blessing to you all adopted from the Talmud. May you live to see your world fulfilled. May your destiny be for things still to come. May you trust in generations past and those yet to be. May your heart be filled with intuition and your words be filled with insight. May songs of peace ever be upon your tongue and your vision be on a straight path before you. And finally, an Irish blessing. I hope you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Grand Marshal.
I now declare the 2017 commencement ceremony for Tunxis Community College closed. And on behalf of the four of us, I'm dropping the mic. <laughs>